Siddharamaiah protested this, launching the South Tax Movement with the entire cabinet. M.K. Stalin and Pillai Vijayan extended solidarity. By now, you would have figured out that I am talking about the tax devolution formula. Today's data details is all about it. It's going to be slightly longish where we look at the numbers and the formula and see if it's fair or not. A major criticism against the Finance Commission by the South Indian states is that the population component is given a lot of weightage. Between the 11th and the 15th Finance Commissions, weights given to population and area have gone up and this way the share of all South Indian states has fallen over the last two decades. The current Finance Commission has a new component called Demographic Performance which rewards states that have controlled the population. But the question is, is that enough? Economists like Dr. Mary George say that the weightage for this component has to be increased. But the problem again is that to calculate the demographic performance, we again go back to the 1971 census and this way, South Indian states miss out a lot. Another controversial component is income distance, which is nothing but the GSDP per capita of the state that ranks the first minus that of the state that ranks the last. It is as high as 45%, which means richer states miss out a lot. But again, India is a democracy and economists say that it is only fair for a rich state like Haryana or Tamil Nadu to help out a poor state like Bihar. If that's the case, you may wonder why is it that only the South Indian states have an issue? That's because if we compare the Finance Commission's 10 and 15, data shows that the share of all South Indian states in the center's tax pool has gone down so much. We also looked at the state budgets for FY24 and this shows that some states are getting a far larger share from the divisible pool because of the current devolution formula. Case in point, yet again, Bihar. The state is set to receive a massive 1.02 lakh crore as the center's tax share. That is close to 70% of the state's tax revenue. It's less than 30% in all South Indian states. And in Haryana, it's just 13%. And now coming back to the popular claim that for every rupee that a South Indian state gives to the center's tax pool, they get back way little. We did a bit of calculations based on tax collection and it shows that the ones who are at loss here also include rich states like Maharashtra, Haryana and Gujarat. Also, the money that they may be receiving back from the center could be lower than this because there's no state-wise data on excise and customs duty collection. Now, we are no experts to say if the current formula is fair or not. But going by the current debates, the 16th Finance Commission may have some pondering to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to us. Also, check out our website, thehindubusinessline.com. We will be back again soon.